Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. I'm Carl Lewis, your host today. Today our topic is going to be a continuing series of what's new in version 9.1. And today we're going to be taking a look at some email enhancements that have been made to the new version of SAP Business One. Just a little announcement for you, version 9.1, of course, is now in general release. Tax level 9 was released about three weeks ago. We are currently testing it, making sure that it's stable for everything. And I expect that it will be our default recommended patch within another couple of weeks, around the 15th of October. If you're interested and considering upgrading, we recommend in total care that you try to upgrade to our recommended patch. But be sure that all of your add-ons, any of your customizations, and everything that you do to integrate Business One with all other systems is carefully tested prior to that upgrade. So here's our agenda for today, just so you'll have a little snapshot of this um, in your mind. We're going to take a look at the administrative settings that are uh, indicated for this new emailing function. And notice this line right here. This is really important. You can now use Outlook. In order to send email out of SAP Business One in times past, you had to use something called the SBO, SAP Business One, SBO mailer. It has always been kind of problematic. It's a service that runs in Windows. Sometimes in some systems, it would stop and it would start. It would create havoc. And it's a little tough to configure for those of us that use Exchange. Now, you don't have to start that service at all. You can simply flip a switch and say, use Outlook. So we'll be looking at where to do that. And so we'll also look at some things that about how you activate the service. That you must have a path set up properly for your attachments. Uh, how you set on the print preferences, email settings, you know, for various documents, and the thing you have to do with users. And then we'll look at three live examples of sending documents. Today we'll uh, do some illustrations using quotations, but basically you can send any kind of document in the system. I've validated that it works for all AR documents, all AP documents, all inventory documents, and a number of banking documents. So you have this option of auto emailing. Uh, many things in the system.